Okay, day two. <laughs> uh, the wind's blowing a little more than it did yesterday, but this is perfect for, I'm gonna throw this swim bait. I, I had the bigger one tied on and I decided to go down one to this size. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, this and then <laughs> I'm gonna uh, flip the holes in the mats. Um, I'm going to devote four hours. It's almost 7.30 a.m. So I'm going to do this till 11.30. Uh, I'm on that same area, that same stretch. Let me show you. I'm going to show you on the map uh, where I'm fishing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. but So this was uh, Casey Pond. And I gave up on that. I, I may have gave up too early. I just lost confidence. When you don't have confidence, it's just... You don't fish right. So I came out, I, I fished my way out. Here's, let's see, it's right in this area here is where the, uh, there's a channel here. And the weeds are real thick in here, but it's deep. It's ten, probably 10 feet deep. And the weeds are all the way up to the surface. So you drop a, a craw through the through the holes you're dropping down 10 feet and there's a lot of bait I saw a bunch of bait on, flipping around in here so this has fish that that 10 pound limit you know is nothing I think compared to what's in here I'm catching the littler ones so today I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on the edge at first with the swim bait try to catch maybe bigger fish then I'm going to go up in here where the mats are, <coughs> where the weeds are, and I'm going to flip in here. I'm going to commit to it till 11.30 this morning. At 11.30, I will reevaluate the day and decide what to do next. GoPro, start recording. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, I, I, I saw so much stuff down there. I thought, you know, <laughs> I got to drop the drop shot. I, I just got to see. And first drop. <laughs> first drop. I've been fishing the, the swim bait since, uh, let's see, what time did I start? Uh... 45 minutes in fishing the swim bait. I didn't get a bite. Now I got this guy who's pulling like he's uh, a decent fish. And, you know, I don't know. I know this isn't the most exciting way to fish, but man, I'll tell you. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, geez. All right, hang on. <laughs> I gotta get the net. It's not a bass, it's a big something. Oh man, is that a walleye? Oh geez, that is a walleye. Boy, I'll tell you, you know, I wonder if I should bring it to the dock. And uh, there are people that would love to have this fish because they taste good, <laughs> I've been told. I wonder what, should I put them in the live well? Man, so, yeah, I hate to just, nah, I'll throw him back. What the hell am I gonna do with him? I'll throw him back. Oh, maybe I won't throw him back. <clears throat> Hang on, buddy, just don't break my line, come on. Don't break my line, please. Don't break my line. He's gonna break my line. Come here, come here. 
Jesus, that's bigger than I thought. Okay, hang on. <laughs> don't, don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Ugh. Look at that guy. I'm gonna put him back. I got no use for him. But at least I got him on camera. All right, hang on, buddy. Just don't hurt me, okay? Please. I swear to God, I'm gonna put you back. Okay, ready? All right, there you go. Ready? There you go. I don't know. I'm gonna keep throwing the the uh, swim bait, but it's crazy because. I'm looking at the graph and I see bait, fish, I mean, they're here to be caught and I'm just trying, I'm trying to do it different, you know, swim bait, but I got a feeling it, it's just so easy to catch them with, with the drop shot and I'm mean, that wasn't bass, but man, man, but I'm going to keep doing it because you know, I want it to be more entertaining than just watching me drop shot fish. <sighs> okay, well, I'll show you what I've been doing. I'm throwing out a swim bait. I'm staying, uh, the weed edge is like right in over here. I got to stay out of the weeds or, or I'll get snagged. And uh, I'm, dry, I'm letting it sink, I don't know five to ten feet and then I'm just slowly reeling it in every once in a while I speed it up there's my swim bait the weeds are gonna be right in this area here <clears throat> so I've been doing this haven't got a bite <clears throat> and then <clears throat> see there's the weeds coming up right here haven't got a bite on this then I've been alternating when I get up every once in a while when I get up here where the weeds are I'm throwing the walking bait I mean it's uh I'll get right on on where the weeds are like right on top of the water right here so here's the weeds right there and I'm <coughs> doing this and th this water is deep. Th these weeds grow high. Like, that's why I was going to drop into those holes. And I, and I may do that. Anyway, I've been throwing the uh, walking bait. I mean, look at that bait. Man, if there's a bass in that area. Thing is, here's what I think is wrong. I think it's like 10 feet deep. And they're under the weeds. So they're not going to come up and hit this. Because... They don't, you know, they're way down there. They're not up shallow. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. But the whole time, I'm looking at my graph, you know, and I'm seeing out here on the edge, I'm seeing bait. I'm seeing fish. The one time I, I dropped my drop shot, I caught a, a walleye. <clears throat> but I committed to this, so I, I'm, I'm doing it. But it's frustrating because... Let's see if there's any here. No, there's nothing on that. But I mean, you know, if I go along the drop, just kind of work work my way along where the weeds end, I see bait and fish. I'll run into them. I wanted to get one in the boat. <laughs> it's been two hours and all I got to show is a walleye, so 
I threw down there and, and I think I got a keeper. Yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? It's a fish. <coughs> Come here, pal. I got you. Caught a bass. I think what I'll, what I'll do is I'll throw the swim bait. I'll keep throwing it, but every so often I'm gonna drop down and try to catch a keeper. That way, if I can get a if I can get a limit, I'm not sure he's a pound. One three. I think it was one three one four. One three. Um, if I can get a limit, you know, come here. Then I can. Uh, do the hole, punch the holes. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be drop shot again, cause, you know. That's my first fish. One, three. And, uh, I mean, I'm almost out of water to throw the swim bait. You know, I, I'm not just gonna keep going. I've got a certain stretch of this channel that I'm using. Once I run out, um, I'll probably go punch the holes after that. GoPro start recording you know you know I was I just caught that little one and I uh, was getting ready to throw the swim bait and I looked on my graph and I saw a big arch now I don't know if this is the big arch but I said you know what I'm gonna drop down there well he's not a big arch but it's not bad So that's the result of the big arch. And uh, that'll be that'll be two keepers at least. Now I'll go back to the swim bay. But uh, that's a uh, not that big. It looked like a big arch on the screen. Maybe, maybe there's a big one down there, and he's not it. But that's a second keeper at least. Okay, I'll go back to the swim bait. Oh, he shut it off. Okay, hang on buddy, you're killing me here. One twelve. One twelve. Okay. Yeah. That's uh it's the second keeper, one twelve. I'll go back to the swim bait. I just uh I looked down, I saw this big arch. And I thought, well, it might be a walleye, but let's give it a shot. And I caught him. I, I don't think he was the big arch, but who knows. Recording. I got, got my third keeper. I'm sorry. 
I just couldn't uh, pass this up. There's, eh, he's not that big. There's a cut right here. He might not even be a keeper. There's a, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, pal. You found? I had to drop. I was throwing the swim bait. There's this, the weeds, they like, there's like a cut in there. And I thought, ah, I'll just toss it in there real quick. I don't know if he's a pound. I caught him, so let's weigh him. It's 10 o'clock. I'm, I'm gonna throw this swim bait another 30 minutes and then if I don't have a fish, I'm, I'm done. I just don't have the confidence. He's a pound. He's one pound. <sighs> GoPro. Stop recording. That's my third keeper. Okay, here's the update. It's 10.30. I've been out here three hours. The sun's out. The wind died. My best shot with the swim bait was this morning. The wind was blowing. We had fog. No sun. Now they get a really good look at it. And since I didn't catch one yet, three hours, I'm done. So here's what I'm going to do. I got small, uh, three small keepers. I'm going to catch, I'm going to try to catch my fourth keeper. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to flip uh, a craw into those holes. I, I started as far away from the ramp as I was going to fish. And I've worked my way all the way back towards the ramp. Now I'm going to uh flip the holes and work my way back to the spot furthest away um, you know I'll alternate that in the drop shot if I if I'm in an area where I know there's fish and I'm not getting them in the holes I'll just move right out to the channel drop shot if I catch fish I'll move to the next area flip the holes I'll just do that all the way down so I'm going to try to catch one here real quick on the drop shot and then we'll start flipping holes. Pro, start recording. Oh, that's a good one. I got a little closer to the weeds, so I learned something right there. Come here, buddy. Don't you do it. That's probably the best bass I've caught in two days, I'm thinking. I think. Yeah, 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 he is, for sure, for sure. Come here, buddy, we're done, come on, we're done. We're done, ready? We are done. Oh, we're not done, yeah, we're done. Oh, I tell you, they don't give up. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's a beauty. I'm out of breath. Why? Why am I out of breath? Okay. Oof. See, this is, you know, I drop shot a lot, but it doesn't just catch small fish. You know, this guy, he's, he's right tight in the weeds. He's feeding. If I get it near him, he's going to eat it. He's got to weigh three pounds, I think. Oh. Oh. Let's see, are you a three pounder? Oh. 
That's uh, number four. I, I don't know why I would do anything else. Three pounds, four ounces. You know, I mean, it, it, this, this technique works. I don't know why I would do anything else, but let's see, that's five. Oh no, that's four. Three, three pounds, four ounces. Okay, so what is it? It's quarter to eleven. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh I'm gonna drop shot till 11. <laughs> I'm gonna get a limit. I wanna get a limit in the boat and then I'll start punching weeds and then I'll do the alternating thing for the rest of the day. I'll, I'll head in that direction and just alternate punching weeds, drop shotting. But I wanna get my limit before I do that. GoPro, start recording. Man, I tell you what, it's been a while. This this game will humble you. I had four keepers an hour ago. I caught my fourth one and I said, you know what? Let me just drop shot here and get my limit here real quick. <laughs> that was an hour ago. I've had, uh, boy, this guy's pulling. I've had one uh, little large mouth. And the other one I lost, you know, this guy's really pulling. Is this a bass? Or another giant pike? He's probably a one pounder. Oh my God, he is. <laughs> he was pulling so hard. Oh, he's, he's more than a pound, but you know what? Man, I'll tell you, it has been tough. Jeez, that's my limit. You know, I was going to go punch holes in the in the weeds an hour ago. I said, hey, I'll just get a limit here real quick. Gee, now I'm afraid to punch holes in the weeds. I'm afraid I'm not going to catch any more fish. I got, uh, I got a little guy I got to get rid of, a one pounder. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It's 12, it's 10 after 12. Two pounds, zero ounces. It's a two pounder. Okay, see ya buddy. Man, he fought, that fish fought, I'll tell you. Uh, got a limit. I got two little guys. One pound and, and one pound, three ounces. And the bite got tough. I'll tell you something else. It got windy. It's going to be hard to see the holes in the grass. When it's calm, it's it's so easy to do. So I'm going to drop shot and I'm going to hope that we get a break in the wind and it gets flat. If it gets flat, I will head right in there and start punching the holes. But for now, I'm going to I'm going to drop shot some more. Sorry. Start recording. And I'll tell you and I tell you what. He ain't gonna help, but I don't care. I can't get bit. It's unbelievable. It's been an hour. An hour a bite. A bite an hour. Actually, he's gotta be over a pound. He's gonna help me. I got a little guy in there. Come on, buddy. Are you over a pound? I'm going to say yes. Not much. 
man, the bite just died. This is uh, this is gonna be a drop shot video. <laughs> GoPro, start recording. I don't know why the camera decided to shut off just now, but I gotta beat a pound. He's one, two. I'm gonna gain a couple of ounces. It's one four. I gained four ounces. See ya, buddy. <clears throat> one four beat uh, called one zero, so now I gotta call one three. I really wanted to catch a decent limit if I'm going to drop shot because I know it's not the most exciting thing, but that's <laughs> it ultimately came back to a drop shot video because when I say video, that thing anyway, it's too rough to do much. Any, I mean, I could throw the swim bait, but I threw it for three or three and a half hours, three hours, and uh. Didn't get a bite. I just don't have any confidence in it. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. If if this dies, I'll I'll pitch the holes. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep doing this. called it oh he's uh I don't know if he's gonna help and if he does it ain't gonna be by much but at least it's a fish and I'm getting to fight him because it's getting tough come here come here come here you gonna help me? I think you're gonna help me. Come here. We're done. We're oh, we're oh, geez, John. We're done. Okay. Oh, you weren't getting off. Man, man, I got a uh, one three, the little guy. We'll see. It's he ain't much bigger, but I'll take ounces. Be nice to get a back-to-back -back ten pound limit again. I think I did that the last time I came here. One pound. Oh, one eleven. Wow, buddy, you've been eating well. One eleven. It's one and three quarters. Jeez, I didn't think he was that big. You know what it is? He's he's fat. So that uh, calls out the one three with a one eleven. Oh yeah, I'm getting close. Let's see. I'm gonna total it real quick. I got three, five, six, seven, eight, eight, four, eight, eight. Uh, nine, nine, uh, eight, eight, nine, four. Oh my god, nine fifteen. <laughs> That's a quick calculation. I believe I've got nine pounds, fifteen ounces. My little guy's one four, it's one thirty. I'm gonna fish till four. I got two and a half hours to gain an ounce. Can I do it? Oh. 
start recording. I'm still trying to gain an ounce so I can say I caught a 10 pound limit. And uh, I have no idea if he's going to do it or not. There he is. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. He's got to be one. I want to say one five is what I got to. And he looks like he's over that, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say he's one six. <laughs> maybe. Let me just double check. I had, I had nine pounds, 15 ounces when I checked it. And my little one is one four. Four. So he's got to be one five, and the bites are slow. So I'll take a one five right now. I said one seven, but he was shaking. Hang on, get there. That said one eight, but he was shaking. One seven. One seven. I did it. I got another 10 pound limit. I know it's not a big deal, but it is for me. Okay. That's, um, that calls out the one four with a one seven. So that's my small one, one seven. It's a uh, quarter to three. I got an hour and 15 minutes. got one. <laughs> I got half an hour left and I haven't been catching many fish here so every bite's been precious. Let's see can I call up? I gotta get a what was it one seven? He's not gonna do it. Ah, maybe he's fat. He's fat. Come here pal. Oh yeah, no, he's he's not gonna help me. I need uh, one seven, so he's got to be a pound and a half. I don't think so, buddy. But I'm gonna weigh him because I'm running out of time. It's almost over. It's my last road trip. I got a problem. I got a problem. Oh man, why do I do this? Jeez. Oh boy. This is my last fish for the day. I'm going home after this. And I think it's a pretty good one. There he is. Yeah, it's a really good one. Good way to end the day if I can get him in the boat. Three pounder, maybe? Yeah. Come here, buddy. I gotta go home. Come here. Oh, boy, he's a fighter, too. Oh, my God. There. Yeah. Man. 
Come here, pal. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. He took off under the boat. Oh, we're going to the weeds. Uh-oh. It's, it's now or never, buddy. I gotta get you in the boat. Nope. I gotta get you in the boat because you're getting dangerously close to... Oh, sorry. Woo! That's a nice way to end my my trip, huh? Oh, man. He took... Oh, he wasn't getting off. He was not getting off. He took off. I've had that happen before. Under the boat. Actually, that big catfish I caught that time did that to me. Because the wind was blowing. Is he four? I don't think so, but he's my biggest one of the day for sure. Good timing. It's uh, 20 to 4. And I want to go home. Oh, come on. 315. 315. Can I make it 4? Oh, I can make it 4. You know what? That's funny. If I tilt it, I'm going to go 315. <laughs> That's a beauty. We waited till the very end for the biggest fish. See ya, buddy. Thanks. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, man. 315 calls out my 1-8. Okay, I gotta get out of the weeds. And then I'll close this video out. Okay, that was a fun way to end it. So, let me total it up. Ended up having a pretty good day. I know it's drop shotting and I know that's uh, kind of boring, but... Uh, okay, so 315 and 2, that's 515. 34, that's uh, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9 to 3. 10, 3, 11, 3, wow. 11, 15, I ended up with 12 pounds, 10 ounces for today. And this is my last road trip. Um, I'm gonna do one more video. The good news is it won't be any drop shotting involved. Um, I'm gonna do a swim bait video on Lake Pondere. Probably be the last one I do for the year. Um, and uh, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. I got one more to do. And uh, I got to head back. So I'm sorry, you know, it, it started out. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, title this Casey Pond Round 2 or not because it really wasn't a Casey Pond video. But, uh, you know, like, see that fish? 3 pounds, 15 ounces, right? I mean, if you catch that on a swim bait, or if you catch it on a jig, or if you drop shot it, what's the difference? You know, they're fun. They're fun to catch. So, I apologize that there's not more variety, but it works for me. You know, it's the one thing that I do well. You know, I don't do anything else really that well. I mean, topwater baits, my feeling is if they're there, and they're schooling, I'll catch them. You know, but this, I just... I've been doing it, to, you know, Aaron, I dedicated the channel to Aaron for a reason. He showed me this. I wasn't able to catch a bass. When he showed me this, I started catching them. I got the, the fever and that became, you know, uh, Don Iovino told me about sonar. Aaron told me about drop shotting. I combined the two and I do that. And I, I do it pretty well considering I, this, this uh, sonar is uh, an antique compared to what they got now, but that's okay. I don't mind. Anyway, I'm blabbering again. I gotta go. I hope you were mildly entertained. That walleye, I almost forgot about that walleye. That, <laughs> that was fun. Okay, I got one more to do. I'll see you.